Morgan. And it's me, Zane. And we're here in the Teen Maker Space. This week's episode, we're gonna be showing you guys how to make terracotta pot snowmen. Cute. Very cute. All right, guys, let's get started. Hey guys, okay, so in this week's craft bag, you should have a thingy of our container of white paint. Um, one of these, it has tacky glue in it and a little bit of pink paint it will be in a container like this. You should have a terracotta pot that's wrapped in some type of like paper bag or something. This is a piece of felt. You'll need your glove, you should have a paintbrush and some ribbon in there too. Oh yeah, rubber band, permanent marker, sorry there's a lot this week. <laughs> and a pair of scissors you'll need to have that yourself by the way yeah definitely if you want some water like to rinse out your paintbrush or something that's good too and then grab like a paper plate or if you have a paint palette that you've been using like for a while grab that and zane and i are going to share that one but to get started you're going to go ahead and paint your terracotta pot so be very careful because you only have one of these you don't want to drop it or crack it you can glue it back together if it cracks but just try not to do that so we're going to go ahead and take our white paint here and then see if you want to just like do something. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and start painting my terracotta pot white. So this actually doesn't take very long at all. Yeah, it looks all. like it's drying pretty quickly. Yeah, it pretty much dries um, like as soon as you put it down. So don't put too much down where you can't like brush it out quick enough because then you'll start getting like kind of clumpy. And I think it does that because this is kind of like um, stone or um, ceramic and ceramic just absorbs moisture very, very quickly. So this side is pretty much already dry, which is crazy. I didn't even know that. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like very fast. We were just talking about how rocks seem to absorb water more than yeah. other things. Yeah, this is like pretty much the same like thing. So I got like half of that done. But yeah, you just wanna work quickly on this. So just go ahead and paint the top and the bottom. You don't have to paint the inside, that's the only thing. So I'm gonna finish that and then I'll meet you back here. Okay, so as you can see, I am done already. That was like really, really quick and it's pretty much already dry, but I actually have made one off to the side here already, but I guess I really didn't even need to do that because it dries so quickly, but I'll just move that out of the way anyway. And then I'm going to clean off my brush and put it in some water so it doesn't get all hard and gross. Put that to the side. So next we're going to I think for the next part, I'm gonna do the scarf, so. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna see how big I need it to go around. So something like that. So I'm gonna take my tacky glue and then um, with the paintbrush you wash out, grab that again and then use it for the tacky glue after you like clean it off and everything. But. Just take a little bit of it and then just make some dots like down the center of it. And then after you do that, I'm gonna line it up. Move some of this out of the way, guys. Okay, you're gonna line it up and just kind of wrap it around and then pull it tight. It pretty much cuts off, like I have extra here, so I'm just gonna snip the extra ribbon off. There we go. Put it to the side, and then with the rest of the tacky glue, I'm gonna lift that part of the ribbon up and just glue it in place. So then you have something like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and start making the little face for it. So I'm gonna leave room for my little carrot nose 
that I'll be doing here in a bit, but I'm gonna find a good spot to do my face. So I think right here would be nice. So we're gonna leave a little bit of room for his hat. So even before I do that, I'm gonna place this on top of here that before we cut this part off and just kind of see where his eye should be. So I'm going to make him right here. So you just make little circle pole eyes. One and then two like that. And then you can make like a coal smile or you can make a little squiggly smile or a tiny tiny little smile. You guys can I do whatever you want. Yeah, I feel like um, a classic coal smile would look pretty good so you can even give him a frown yeah he could be a sad snowman because it hasn't really snowed a lot here so maybe he's just bummed about it but i'm just gonna do a classic cold smile so i'm gonna start off like either side here um if your marker starts drying out just put it away or like wipe some of the um like paint off of it and then just keep working at it markers real quick it's just some of the paint it might just not be dry all the all the way so you kind of got to work fast and I think it helps if you hold the marker kind of at like an angle a little bit when you're doing this and then switch sides there we go like so a little bit bigger there but I like how that looks so okay and then after that I'm going to take my little bit of white paint that I have over here a bit of white and I'm gonna take the little bit of pink that I have and mix that together so I want this to be a really, really light pink, and these are gonna be for the cheeks here. So I barely put any pink into this. And then I'm just going to take it and brush it on. So I actually need a little bit more pink than I thought. Mix a little bit more in. There we go. I'm just gonna dab that on. And then with my finger, I'm gonna kind of like wipe it away like easily. So it kind of just looks like he's blushing a little bit because it's cold outside. It's cold and no snow. And, and no snow. So he could be sad. He could have sad rosy cheeks. But this guy's happy because he's um, hopeful that there will be snow soon. After you got some cute little cheeks on the face, we're going to take the orange felt and then your scissors. I'm gonna move some of this out of the way. Just less distracting. And then I'm just gonna make a triangle, like a carrot. So cut this in half. Yours will be a little bit more, just in case you guys mess up on it. And then I'm gonna make it kind of rounded on the back side. And then I'm going to make like a rounded triangular piece. So just come to a point like that. Pretty easy, like nothing super special, just that. And then I'm gonna make sure, oh, it's a little too big. It doesn't look like it's gonna be that big, but um, I want it to be a little smaller on his face. Try that again. Yeah, I like that way better. That looks good now. So when you're happy with your little carrot nose, go ahead and take your tacky glue and put some on the back side of it. Just like, um, not too much, but enough to make it stay in place. 
All right, so after I got the glue on here, you can see like how much I have about. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it all on here. I'm gonna make like up at an angle a little bit. But you can even leave it like kind of like sticking off like a little bit if you can kind of see that. Just so it's got some dimension to it. And then what we're going to do is take our rubber band here and then kind of see where a good place to tie this off. Because we're going to cut all these little thingies off here in a second. But I'm going to take this off because it's going to be a little easier to tie. Alright, I'm going to tie this up so it's like pretty tight on here, but not too tight where it snaps, but you guys should have extra rubber bands. And then while I still have it like that, I'm going to take my ribbon here. This out of the way. And then I'm just gonna make like a cute little bow. Double knot it. This is just so the rubber band gets covered up. So then I'm gonna take my scissors and then about an inch above, I'm just going to go across and cut the top parts of the fingers off. But just leave enough where you have kind of like a little um, pom pom at the top and you do have pom poms in your bag you could even glue that on top instead if you want to do that you don't even necessarily have to do a mm -hmm. hat either if we um yeah. have an option for where if you want to do um like some earmuffs yeah. we gave you a uh, piece of pipe cleaner mm -hmm. and those pom poms and you can just go ahead and take the pipe cleaner and just kind of put it across yeah, his like head that. there and then put pom poms on each side there. yeah so the pom pom would go here and here and then just glue a um, pipe cleaner across the top. But I'm going to take a little bit of my tacky glue, the extra that I have, and just kind of glue the hat in place. So along the very, very top, I'm just going to tap a little bit of tacky glue, like where his uh, hat's gonna sit. It's probably a good idea. Yeah. You don't have to do this. If you run out of tacky glue, it's not necessary, but it's just an option so your hat doesn't fall off later. And then I'm gonna take my front of my bow, make sure it's on the front, and then just pull this over. And then there you go. Then you have a cute little terracotta snowman or snow lady. Mine looks more like a lady because she's got some lace. But I hope you guys like this. I think it, they turned out pretty cute. Um, all right, guys, we'll catch you again next week, I guess. Right? Yeah. All right, bye. See ya. <laughs>